hello guys welcome to a new video my name is courage and um, welcome to my youtube channel so please do well to subscribe and like because i have so many amazing video content for you to improve your retouching and your photography skill so right on i started using capture one since 2018 you know i i got to know about capture one from prince mason but I got to learn how to use Capture One through David Martins and Amazing Clef. You know, I met Amazing Clef and then Martins in 2018. That was when I started using Capture One till date. Now, we have in the retouching world, we have people who like to use Capture One, people who like Lightroom, you know. So, well, whichever camp you belong, I, I love Capture One. So, but I'm going to be showing you nine amazing features in Capture One that are not available in Lightroom. And even if they are available in Lightroom, it's way, way more easier in Capture One. So, I hope you're ready for this. So, the first thing I want to show you today is how to import images. Now, I know we know, you know, a lot of us know how to import images by just coming to click this import, you know, icon there and you select the location yeah that's one way to do it you could just drag and drop your images on top of these and it will come up yes that's another way to do it but that's not you know the way i love to import images in capture one is really really nice so how i do that is just to go to where i have my picture so for example i have my pictures in my sd card so you know maybe this is my sd card i will just select the images i want to import so the moment I select those images, I press Ctrl C to copy. Then I'll go to where my Capture One folder is has been created. All right, the Capture One folder where that particular section I created, where it's you know Capture One made it inside my system. So you see Capture, you know this particular section is called YouTube Video. So you see Capture output select and trash so the moment i come into capture i paste my images and then you can see everything has been imported automatically so if i have new images i can just paste them inside the capture folder as far as i click on the capture folder here then my images will pop up you know so easy so easy all right this one way to do that and you can easily you know, import as much images as you want all right if you don't want to struggle with you know deselecting images through the import parts you can just select the images yourself copy and paste in the capture folder there you go so number two this is one of my favorite part in fact this was the first thing i started using when i started using capture one which is tethering all right i could shoot with my camera and automatically it shows in my capture one folder so how do i do that so automatically it works you don't have to set anything just connect your camera using your camera usb cable and the moment you turn on your camera you're going to see yes you see this yes so if you come to this place you see your camera information is going to show and then you can press the shutter button and automatically you get your image without doing anything you don't have to set anything and if you put your camera on a tripod you can come here and click and you still get to take a picture you see how it works so easy you don't have to set anything just connect your camera to your laptop using your usb cable then you are tethering like straight up if you don't want to see like this you want to see only the pictures without all these things showing you can just press f10 and then it shows you just this and then you can take as much pictures as you want and it will be showing right here yes it will all right so stick to the end i have a bonus tip for you if you want to know i have a bonus tip so let's go number three number three is one of my favorite as well all right which is the base characteristics to assess that i'll come to the color editor i'll come to the base characteristics now how does this base characteristics work now let me show you so i shot this image with a nikon z5 however this color you can see right now is the color as if it was shot with a sony a7 mac 4 now let me show you the nikon default color this is the nikon default color at this particular white balance 
all right and this is the sony a7 color so now i don't get to mix my camera all right so if for example i'm i'm used to the sony system and it and somebody sends me an image you know that it was shot with a canon i can just convert it to that color now let me show you there are so many other colors available so i can decide to say okay this particular one i'll come to um the base characteristics which is the icc profile come to show all and then you can see all the camera brands you can think of so let's look at fuji so if you come to fuji and you come you can see the st4 so i can click on the st4 so this is how the st4 will render this image let me show you one more so let's come to this let's change this to the canon arrow the canon r6 so you see the canon r6 this is how canon r6 we interpret this image with this white balance you can see all of them have the different you know slightly different you know skin tone slightly different color because of the way each of the camera brand interpret color and with capture one i can convert my image to any camera brand color see how easy it is yes all right if you love this if you love this so far drop a comment in the comment section let's go to number four number four you come to the layers when you come to the you come to um the layers side when i click on a new layer a new feed layer i can add adjustment so for example if i add exposure and i'm not satisfied i want to you know add more exposure i can create new layers and add more level of exposure all right the same thing i can stack effect i can build effect unlike in lightroom where you get to the end that's it except you create a new brush but this you don't need to create a new brush you create a new layer and everything can work all right for lightroom all right this is not really a comparison but i'm just trying to show you the you know things yeah for those of us in you know for, the, for those of you that use lightroom at least you know what i'm saying like when you get when you when you create an effect like this you get to the end you have to create a new layer brush to be able to use you know to be able to to build up the effect so capture one gives you the ability to build effect so for example i'm trying to increase the shadows uh, to expose the shadows more i can increase the shadow like this if it's not enough i can create a new layer and i will increase the shadow even more you can see if i want to stack it up i can keep stacking as much as i want that's one of the benefits of capture one let's go to number five so another benefit or another advantage of capture one is the aspect of adding multiple presets you can add as much preset as you want you can create just click on this all right click on this plus icon and create a new adjustment layer and then you can apply if when you right click on it you see apply adjustment from so let's see look at one of their presets here so i'm going to click on that then i'm going to create another and then i'm going to apply adjustment from i'm going to try another preset so let's add this preset so now we have two preset added this is one and this is another one so this is the first preset and this is the second preset you can see that you can start preset and then i can decide to reduce the opacity of this preset come to this preset and reduce the opacity if i want i can actually modify the opacity of each layers unlike the way you have it in lightroom where if you want to adjust you have to come to each of the adjustment and adjust them but this i can just easily reduce the opacity how cool is that yes consider switching to capture one today so next the next thing i'm going to show you i'm going to delete these layers now is the refine mask oh this is one awesome 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 you know uh, um, feature of capture one now let me show you how this works so now i imagine i want to expose this hand you can see that this hand lights did not get to that place i want to get the exposure of this hand i can create a new layer I'll take my brush too and then I'll press M to show my mask and then I'm going to mask on the hands so now when you're trying to do a local adjustment like this it is very important that you are precise with your selection but now 
if you want to be precise that will take a lot of time but capture one saves you that time all i just need to do with this kind of selection i just right click and i'll click on refine mask and then all i need to do is just to increase my refine mask and you can see how capture one is selecting the areas you know itself so i can do that then i can erase from areas that are you know that i don't want the selection to get to i can erase them and then when i come to my shadows and or expose my shadow you can see how it does a very beautiful work see this is before and after you can see how my selection was refined like with just a slider i didn't have to zoom in and be brushing at the edge no no capture one does the work for me using the refine selection how cool is that now let's move on to the next which is the skin tone skin tone now this is one other great feature of capture one let me show you how it works so now you can see that we have uh, um, the skin color here is different from the color here i can actually match this to look like this in capture one i i mean yes in capture one all i need to do is to come to the color editor come to the um color editor tab come to the skin tone tab on the color editor and then i'll take this and select the reference skin tone i want so i want the skin tone to look like this and then i'll come down to uniformity the moment i click on uniformity all right you'll begin to see that the entire color are changing when i click on saturation you can see when i click on lightness can you see can you see so let's do the before and after real quick so you can you see before after before you can see with this i'm able to just change the color without stress yes okay maybe yes some areas are affected i may want to mask the particular area i want to change all right that is possible you cannot mask that area but you can see how with just slider you can match the colors see how the colors are matching yes that is only possible in capture one yes now let's move on to the next which is the number eight number eight is the advanced color tab now this is also another great feature all right in you know just like it is in lightroom you know we have all the colors red green these 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 yes they are there but what about if you are in a situation where you are seeing a color you don't know what color that is you you want capture one to select that color you can just come to the advance i can take this and just click on the color and then automatically capture one selects that color and when i begin to adjust that color will be affected so let's see this you can see if i decide to select this red so you can see that all right if i want to reduce the selection i can easily streamline the selection and it will just be affecting just a little area unlike in lightroom you can narrow down your selection i can narrow down my selection i can narrow it down and then capture one will only be affecting the area i select this is so 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 cool yes so the last one number nine is that it is so easy to compare images so let's say i'm done with this editing and i want to edit the next image i can just click on both of them and then that one becomes my reference i can be editing this to make sure it matches with this reference is so easy the moment you select two images then maybe i'm trying to call my images i'm trying to select which one I i'm going to edit and i'm trying to choose between three images the moment i select the three images i can see them side by side and decide okay i want this or i don't want this that is it and if this is not possible with lightroom all right so I still have more cool features in capture one if you want to see a complete video of capture one please drop a comment and if you learned anything new please drop a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification yes you can get my um digital products check the description i have a link to my digital store on seller.com.co and then i have a link to my telegram channel if you want to be on my telegram channel Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at encourage underscore photography and learn to retouch. So if you have any other question or you have any view you want me to create, please drop suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you all for being part of this video and do enjoy the rest of your day.